Ezekiel Elliott had, I think, about a, I want to say 187 touches last year. Mm -hmm. led, the recep led the Patriots in receptions last year. <laughs> Great. Fun fact. So <laughs> last year, 187 uh, carries, okay? Um, there's only two running backs, I think, since they started keeping stats like um, these uh, attempts, rushing attempt stats yeah. that have, at his age, have gone on to have more carries mm -hmm. the following season. Mm -hmm. um, so I, initially, I'm thinking they're bringing in Zeke as to kind of be the guy. Kind of looking at the performance last year and the age, I think maybe it might be Dowdle. The opportunity is there. Tony Pollard took with him 307 touches. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Rico Dowdle, without that, I think had 97. Yeah. You need Dowdle to get to like 200 touches here, and I think he'd do that pretty easily. He's the 50th running back coming off the board. Yeah. And I think I wanted you to kind of highlight the thinking here, too, before you make your pick. Yeah. So with our thinking with best ball, these are your like your legitimate boomer bust guys. But we're giving you the guys that are more likely to boom. Right. So in best ball, you're going to have your draft class. You're going to have your main skeleton of a team. Best ball. You don't have to worry about it. It's draft them, draft them and forget about them because they start your best lineup. We're trying to give you options of dudes that have the potential to boom, and when they do, that boom is going to definitely crack your top roster and probably be one of your highest scorers of that week. I think that's what we're trying to really do here.